Welcome to the 11th video in the Getting Started with Analyst Notebook series. In this video, we'll look at the View Toolbar in the Ripper menu of Analyst Notebook. The View Toolbar is divided into four sections. Show and Hide Items to selectively hide and display chart items. Zoom and Pan for navigating the chart surface. Show for controlling the appearance of the chart work area. And Window for choosing how to interact with multiple charts. For this video, we will use the Association and Timeline Example Chart, as well as the Social Network Analysis Example Chart, both of which can be found using the Example Chart shortcut. However, we could use any charts to demonstrate the use of the View Toolbar. We will start by looking at the Show and Hide Items section of the toolbar. Let's begin by selecting three people at the center of the chart. By clicking the Hide tool, the selected items are hidden on the chart. They have not been deleted, they remain as part of the chart but are hidden from view. If we now click the Reveal button, the hidden items are displayed on the chart. How they are displayed is controlled by the drop-down menu of the Reveal tool. To reveal fully will display them on the chart as if they were not hidden. Reveal in grey shows the items on the chart but greyed out to make them less prominent. Note that the Reveal tool does not change the hidden status of the items. It toggles whether they are displayed or not, making it very useful for temporarily displaying hidden items while working with the chart. The Show All button displays all hidden chart items, but also removes the hidden status of the items, permanently displaying these previously hidden items on the chart surface. Another tool in the Show and Hide Items menu is Hide Unselected, which works in the opposite way to the Hide Selected tool, by just leaving the selected items displayed on the chart and hiding everything else. Show and Hide provides similar capabilities to the Hide Selected and Unselected tools, but also gives the ability to selectively hide items based on their populated attributes. Here we've hidden everything with an attribute of country, nationality, and dealer. After clicking Show All to remove the hidden status from all items, we will now move on to the Zoom and Pan section of the menu. Let's select the five telephones at the top of the chart. Using the Fit Selection to Window tool, we can zoom into the currently selected items so that they fill the chart window. Conversely, Fit to Window ensures the entire chart is displayed in the chart window. The Zoom to Area tool lets you draw a box in the chart window. All items within that box are now displayed so that they fill the chart window. Drag Chart displays a hand symbol which lets you pull the surface of the chart to move it around. You can also toggle the Drag Chart tool on and off by using the space bar on the keyboard. The Overview pane provides a different way to navigate a chart from within a separate pane, allowing you to move and resize the chart window. This can often be very useful for large and complex charts. Other tools within this menu are Zoom In and Zoom Out, which incrementally zoom the chart in or out. Actual Size, which displays the chart at its original size without any resizing and Fit Height to Window, which makes sure the chart fits vertically within the window. We will now move on to the Show area of the toolbar. The Grid Lines tool adds grid line markers onto the chart surface. These can be used to help align chart items during chart creation. Items will snap to the grid intersections when moved on the chart surface if Snap to Grid is enabled. The Snap to Grid setting can be found in the Options Display section of the Chart Properties menu. This menu can be found in the File menu or by right-clicking on the chart surface. The Time Bar setting displays a time bar across the top of the chart, making it easy to see where chart items with date and time properties appear in a timeline. The chevrons on the time bar indicate where each item on the chart falls on the timeline. The coloured chevrons indicate two or more concurrent items. Hovering over the chevron shows which item is associated with. Clicking on the chevron selects the associated items. Info tips give a configurable view of the data behind a chart item, including its properties, as well as connected items. Info tips are displayed when the mouse hovers over an item. You can click on a linked item in the info tip and the chart will center on that item. They can be turned off in the show menu by unchecking the info tips tool. When info tips are switched off, hovering over an item will now only display its label. We will now move on to the Windows section of the toolbar. The Split tool allows you to divide your chart up into sections using positionable dividers. Each section is independently navigable. This might be useful when working on large charts with different areas of interest. 
To cancel the split view, double click on the dividing lines. The View Multiple tool allows you to do similar, but this time we're working with multiple charts, allowing you to interact with both charts either side by side or above and below each other. To remove the multiple view, drag the tab of one chart onto the tab of the other chart. The Full Screen tool displays the chart without any of Analyst Notebook being displayed, maximizing the chart display area. Note that the navigation tools are not displayed, so you'll need to navigate the chart using the keyboard or the mouse. So in summary, we've taken a look at the View toolbar and used the Show and Hide Items tool to selectively choose which items are displayed on the chart. We've used the Zoom and Pan tools to navigate the chart and the Show tools to control the appearance of the work area and the Window tool to change how charts are displayed. Please keep a look out for the next video in this series. Thanks very much for your time.